Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. This is part two of my tutorial video featuring the new Cat Scrappiness Be My Valentine release products along with the card sketches from Kendra's card challenge number nine. Now, if you missed part one, I will link it above and in the description box below. In part one, I showed cards one through eight using the Be My Valentine paper pad, along with many of the new release products from Cat Scrappiness. You'll want to check out the part one video first if you missed it, as that's where I explain the challenge and show which papers I used for the different cutting templates and also how to organize the pieces after you cut them. Now, if you decide to join in the fun and get creative with us, remember challenge number nine, you have until March 31st to get your cards uploaded to the photo albums in the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group. In this video, I'll share the card making process for cards nine through 15. Again, I have sped this video up six times and I'm placing each of the card sketches here on the screen. So this is card number nine. This one has two pattern papers. I used the pink crinkled paper side for the strip on the left and the cherub print for the diamond in the center. And I used red card stock for my layers and my background piece is pink. I thought about adding some hearts, but I didn't want it to be too busy. So I decided to keep this one simple. I added some scrap paper behind the diamond on the right to keep things level. And I'm gluing the Happy Valentine's Day sentiment that I stamped and cut out in the last video on the bottom of that diamond. And I added three red hearts from the Be My Valentine sprinkle mix in the top right hand corner. Again, this is card number nine. For card number 10, I used a pink card base with a layer of red cardstock. And I'm gluing the strip of pink plaid pattern paper on the left and the cherub pattern paper on the right. For this card, I decided to use the intertwined stitched hearts die set to make it a shaker card. I cut the hearts from red cardstock and before I glue it down, I'm gonna add some red foil stickers between the two pattern papers in the spots that won't be covered up by the hearts. And then I placed the hearts down and I glued down the inner heart pieces. And then next I glued some acetate to the back of the hearts and I trimmed around it with my scissors. Now this will serve as the window for my shaker. After trimming down the acetate, I added a little bit more glue just to make sure that it was stuck down pretty good. And then next I used my Misty stamping platform to stamp out the sentiment hugs and kisses onto the middle heart cardstock piece that's already glued down. And then I added thin foam strips to the back side of the hearts. You could cut several of the die cuts from cardstock and stack them up if you don't have any foam tape but you just want to make sure that whatever you're using is thick enough where the sprinkle mix pieces can move around freely To keep the sprinkles from sticking to the acetate, I rubbed this anti-static powder on the inside. And then next I added a few sprinkles on the inside of each of the hearts, except for the one with the sentiment. And then I removed the backing of the foam tape and placed it on top. And then to finish off card number 10, I added a few red glitter heart stickers on the pink plaid piece. And this is card number 10. For card number 11, I used the same pattern papers, the plaid and the cherub print for the strips. And I cut a brown layer to go behind the pink background. For the circle, I'm using a slightly larger die set than what the sketch calls for. This is the Sweetheart Doily die set. And I cut the bottom layer out of brown and the top layer out of pink. And then I used the stitched scallop circle dies to cut another circle layer from white cardstock. And off camera, I stamped the cherub stamp onto some pink cardstock using brown ink. And 
um, stamping the sentiment all you need is love on the white circle toward the bottom also in brown and then next I glued down all of the layers and pieces and here you see me cutting down some scraps behind the circle to make this level so I added some foam tape behind the pink stamp and then I added a pink heart from the sprinkle mix to finish off the card and this is card 11. For card number 12 I'm using this heart pattern for the horizontal piece and the off-white crinkle pattern for the vertical piece. I'm using some red foil cardstock for the bottom layer and as you can see I made good use of my specialty cardstock by cutting out some shapes from the center since it will be hidden. For the focal point I used the Happy Avo After Dyes and off camera I went ahead and cut out the avocados from some green cardstock and I'm using this older stamp set called You Guac My World to stamp the sentiment in the top right hand corner of the pink background layer. I stamped it with some Ranger Jet Black Archival ink and next I added some clear embossing powder on top. After letting my heat gun heat up for about 30 seconds I applied the heat to melt the powder and then I started gluing down all of my pieces. I added scraps of red foil stickers around the off-white pattern paper piece and then I glued down my other piece again adding scraps to the back of it to make it level so that it will be flush on the card. Next I glued the red foil hearts on my avocados and I added more red foil stickers to outline the entire top pattern paper piece. And then I also cut out another avocado piece out of some brown cardstock to apply to the back of my boy avocado and I cut a little piece off of the left edge so that I can layer these up and then to finish off the card I added some tiny googly eyes to the boy avocado and this finishes off card number 12. For card number 13 I'm using the Be My Valentine stamp set again and I'm stamping the sentiment that says roses are red, violets are blue, vodka is cheaper than dinner for two. And I'm stamping this using my stamping platform and some red ink that's called Bee Sting from Simon Hurley. And I'm just going to stamp this a couple of times just to make sure I have a good dark impression. And I'm using a layer of red cardstock for the bottom piece and pink for the top layer. And then I glued the cherub strip on the far left and the light pink piece with the dots on it to the right and just to kind of help separate them since that pink is a little bit different than my background I added some red foil stickers along the edges I layered the rectangle with the sentiment with red cardstock and I cut the one inch plaid piece into a banner and I added a scrap piece to the back of the rectangle to keep it level and after looking at the card a bit I felt like something was missing so I decided to stamp a heart from the You Grok My World stamp set that I used earlier. I decided to stamp that below the banner piece because there was that white area I felt like it needed something there and so I stamped that in red ink and then I added red foil sticker strips around the banner 
and I added some iridescent stickles glitter glue on top of the heart to finish off the card. Oh, and I also added three hearts from that Be My Valentine sprinkle mix as well. Again, this is card 13. Now for my last two cards, 14 and 15, they are very similar. The diagonal pieces are cut from a three and three quarter inch by five inch piece of pattern paper. And for both of these cards, I'm using the Birdie Birdhouse dies. And I've already cut out all of the pieces out of mostly brown card stock, but I also used red and pink. But these smaller pieces that you see here on the right, these are the wings and parts of the birds. So to make them stand out so you can see them a little better, I'm adding some brown ink using a blending brush. Now because these are so small, you might find it easier to cut die cuts from some darker cardstock rather than doing what I'm doing here because I got ink everywhere, <laughs> all over my fingernails. But after letting this dry, I glued all of the tiny bird pieces to the birds and I put together the birdhouses. Now because I want the roof of the birdhouse to line up with the line of, of the diagonal piece, I will have to cut off a little bit of the birdhouse from the bottom. So just to make sure I don't cut off any part of the pink piece, I did move that up rather than centering it just so that I don't cut off any part of that pink piece. Now for card 14, um, next I glued down all of my layers and then I placed the birdhouse and the birds where I wanted them so that I could figure out where to place the sentiment. I used the Sweet Tweets stamp set and I stamped the sentiment, talk birdie to me. I thought that was hilarious. I stamped that at an angle along the right hand side of the white piece in red ink. And then I glued all of the pieces down and cut off the bottom of the birdhouse. And to finish off this card, I added tiny googly eyes to both of the birds. And I also added a heart from that sprinkle mix between the birds to um, make it look more like a Valentine's card and to tie in the hearts from the pattern paper. And this is card number 14. Now for the last card, number 15, I basically did the same thing except my pattern paper is at the bottom. So I placed the birds on top of the birdhouse for this one. And for the sentiment, I stamped congratulations on your new nest up in the top right hand corner. And I glued down the, the layers after stamping this out. I added some red foil stickers along the diagonal, just like I did for the last card, even though I didn't mention that. And then again, I finished this off the same way by adding the googly eyes to the birds. I glued the birds down on top of the birdhouse instead of at the bottom. And then I added three red hearts in the top right hand corner to match the card sketch. I really hope you've enjoyed this video where I showed cards 9 through 15 using challenge 9 and the new Cat Scrappiness Be My Valentine release products. I'll show photos of the cards again. I'd love to know which one is your favorite. Let me know in the comments below. I'd also like to invite you to join my quarterly card challenges and have a chance to win one of over $800 worth of prizes from some amazing companies throughout the quarter, including Cat Scrappiness. They are one of the prize sponsors and you can have a chance to win a $25 gift certificate to the store by participating. I hope you'll take a moment to check out the new products available at Cat Scrappiness. I will have links to all of the products I used in today's video down in the description box below. These are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, I make a small commission at no extra cost to you.
I have had so much fun being a guest designer for Cat Scrappiness this month, being able to create with all of these fabulous new products. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you will consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy crafting!